having, I was getting, I'm getting old, my back starts hurting from doing too many of these, and I think it's because I turned my body to accommodate you guys, so I should just make you like hang upside down or something. Well, why don't you? I know I should, huh? You probably could. You look like you go to the gym and you like you're like you're a tough guy. I go to the gym and I eat too much. <laughs> well, that's why you go to the gym, probably, right? Yeah. So you can't eat. No. You're not super healthy. You don't all. You don't eat like like all that crazy green juice and protein and stuff like no. that. And, no. I have the bad stuff like steak, potato, mm -hmm. pasta, French food. Oh good yeah, stuff. French food too. You like foie gras and all that kind of stuff? Foie gras, foie yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> it was sad when they, they, they stopped that for a while. They banned it, huh? Yep. It's not what it's cracked up to be. Let me put a little more numbing underneath because sometimes I, I only really kind of numb the top up really well because if I numb underneath, it'll just inject into this little sack and just fill it up more. So I just put a little numbing underneath here. Like a caviar. This? Yeah, this is your this is human caviar. I was talking about the food. Oh I <laughs> it's not all it cracked up to be. <laughs> Sometimes you know, I went to Paris uh -huh. and they and this these people who were hosting us took us out to this fancy restaurant, this Russian restaurant just had caviar and I had a baked potato with like two tablespoons of caviar in it. Mm -hmm. It was it was actually, it was really rich, so you, you couldn't eat the whole thing, and you felt like a pig the whole thing, but when you get about an hour, you want more of it. Like after it was, you know, finished, mm -hmm. it was so good. I got my splash mask on. You almost, you spit at me a little bit there just now. You assisted, that is. Yeah, I saw it. It looks like a bunch of fish eggs in there. Oh. In your videos. It does look like a bunch of fish eggs. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, like I said, it's like your caviar. Uh, I wouldn't say it looks like fish eggs. It looks like mashed potatoes. Yeah. What kind of food you like? <laughs> well, that's what it is. Crap coming through there. So your son never wanted to squeeze this himself, huh? Everybody did. Oh, they did. Oh, it's gonna come out. They all wanted to, and you said, "Hands off." Well, it didn't look like it was in my pocket. It looked like way below the skin. Yeah, it's not easy to. I'm glad you didn't because it would have just gotten inflamed. Caused you problems. It's nice to have a virginal one, you see? Like this. <laughs> Does it come back? It'll less likely come back, though. Because see what happens is if it's like a little sack under the skin. So mm -hmm. if, if you don't get it all out, it can regrow. But I think we're going to do all right here. I'm leaving it with just a tiny little incision line. Looks pretty good. I'm using what's called a curette to kind of scratch around this. So do, can your son watch all of this stuff or does he get grossed out at all? No, he watches all of them. Oh, did he get you watching them or did you get grossed out? No, I just started watching and he said, this is disgusting. But that's what I need. That's exactly what I have, so. Oh, so you're like, but this is it. So I made the call. And it's good that we're pretty close by. You can get to us too. Yeah. Just gonna make sure this is nice and, and Hold on the side so I can put a nice little stitch in it. Gonna keep him looking cute. Don't want him getting angry at me. He's a big guy. I don't want him to hurt me. So your son works with you, huh? You said? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I'm a construction business and all uh -huh. my kids work for me, but Oh, nice. My daughter's an office manager, and my son's an estimator, and my other son runs the field. Oh, that's nice. It's regular family business, then. Yeah. Huh? And then I just go in there and collect the money. <laughs> that's the way it should be, huh? I, mean, well, I need to train my kids. They didn't go to school. They didn't go to college, so they weren't there. So instead of me paying the college bill, they're paying. <laughs> that's right. So I'm going to put a little stitch underneath that gives it strength. Sure. Over time, still. Can I? Stitch. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you to actually pull, lean a little bit back again. Not like all the way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good. Much better. I was gonna have to climb up there and take a look at this. I couldn't see it anymore. Like you're kind of getting away from me. Stretch it out and get the chunk out. We did. We we scratched it all out. And then move it closer so you can stitch it up. That's right.
How about your daughter? Is she grossed out by it? Well, I don't know. Probably in the restaurant. Oh. Huh. She's never tried to squeeze it. <laughs> well, she probably doesn't like it that. Like that 33 stuff. years old. What? Uh, most of the people who watch are women. We're the ones that like to squeeze stuff. She can work on her husband. <laughs> See, he's just starting to accept it. Just wait. Give him a year and he's going to be like all knowledgeable, know everything about this and defending us and stuff. Cool. You. You're going to be like, oh, yeah. I understand what that's all about. We're gonna put a special stitch in here, kind of like a plastic surgery type stitch, so that you have less of a scar line there. And it allows us to leave it in for a lot longer too, okay. the stitch. So after, and it also makes it easy for you or somebody you know to remove it. Okay. Maybe you can let your son do that. He's probably, if he's seen a bunch of these, he's gonna know, he's probably gonna know how to remove this anyways. So don't strain it. Yeah, you gonna you want to wait like um, you want to wait um, yeah you don't want to strain it but you know it's not at a it's not a really high tension angle here mm -hmm. but I wouldn't be doing things that are really pulling on your back like bending way down you know or yeah like rows yeah yes yeah that's good so what you're gonna wait too so can you take that off too I'm gonna say that's gonna fall in a minute. So two weeks we're gonna wait to remove this, right? Thank you. And um, then your your son can clip one knot. That's all he's gonna do. That's all you gotta tell him. Clip one knot and pull the other side out. Okay. If he is unsure at all, just one knot, not two, okay? One. And um, if he's unsure at all, just What's come on in. See, like you can see, it just came up. See, there's a little sack wall right there. See a little, a little bit of the edge. Yeah. This is the inside. That, that's just wet skin. So here's the sack wall. See. Isn't it cute? Yuck. Isn't it cute?